When you watch TV, charge your phone, or use your computer, you obviously are using electricity. But do these items use any electricity when they are turned off? That is a harder question to answer. It depends on the item, but often the answer is yes. If a device uses electricity when it is turned off, this is known as a phantom load. Electricity generation is responsible for 40% of energy use in the United States, so it is always a great idea to consider how we can reduce our electricity usage. We want to demonstrate how phantom loads, the electricity that appliances use when they are off, are hard to recognize and minimize. They are called phantom loads because the electrical current is drawn away without any evidence that this is occurring. For this reason, they are also called vampire loads because, like the fictional vampire, they draw away your electricity, not blood, without you knowing it. The largest phantom load in my house is my cable TV box. I subscribe to one of the major cable companies and they rent me this cable box. I don't own it and I can't choose a more efficient model. When it is plugged in, and the cable company recommends that it, is, that it stays plugged in 24-7, it uses 16 watts. It uses 16 watts whether it is on or off. This is a phantom load. In a year, this cable box uses 16 watts times 24 hours per day times 365 days per year equals 140,160 watt hours per year divided by 1,000 watts per kilowatt equals 141 kilowatt hours per year. Let's say a person watches television for two hours per day, so they are using that cable box for two hours per day. That means that two out of 24 or one twelfth of that number of kilowatt hours is useful electricity. The remainder, approximately 118 kilowatt hours per year, is phantom load. At 15 cents per kilowatt hour, that's almost $20 added to my electricity bill each year. The LA Times estimates there are more than 200 million cable boxes in the US. If that's true, and if people have TV watching habits like mine, the phantom load from cable boxes in the US might be 118 kilowatt hours per year per box times 200 million boxes equals 24 billion kilowatt hours per year, which costs consumers $3.9 billion. 24 billion kilowatt hours, the same as 24 million megawatt hours, which is the amount of electricity three 1,000 megawatt power plants generate in a year. Phantom loads from cable boxes in the U.S. require three power plants running 24-7. The second most common source of phantom load is computer peripherals. Do you have a monitor, a powered USB hub, and auxiliary speakers next to your computer or laptop? I do. When they are on, they use 30 watts. All of them are plugged into a power strip, so when I remove my laptop, I turn off the power strip and the wattage goes to zero. If I didn't have a power strip, those items would also draw a phantom load. How do you tell if you have a phantom load? Plug your device into a kilowatt meter or other watt meter and see if it draws electricity when it is turned off. Reducing phantom loads will not on its own solve our global climate challenges, but it is something that can be done fairly easily as long as you're willing to investigate and turn off power strips or unplug devices. When attempting to reduce our personal energy uses, we always want to conserve first, but identifying and eliminating phantom loads is a good second step.